I Kill the Mockingbird by Paul Acampora. Lucy, Elena, and Michael are trying to get everyone to read their favorite book by hiding all the copies. What are they thinking? Crossover by Kwame Alexander. With a bolt of lightning on my kicks, the cord is sizzling, my sweat is drizzling. Stop all that quivering, cause tonight I'm delivering. This novel in verse outlines the bell basketball rules. In this game of life, your family is the court, and the ball is your heart. The Night Gardener by Jonathan Oxier Wishes, ghosts, and curses, oh my! Irish orphans Molly and Kip find themselves in over their heads with their new posts as servants at a crumbling English manor house. El Defo by C.C. Bell Move over, Batman. There's a new gadget-savvy superhero in town. Discover how to turn what the world calls weakness into a superpower with El Defo. The Scandalous Sisterhood of Prickwillow Place by Julie Berry. Dear Roberta, Disgraceful Mary Jane, Dull Martha, Stout Alice, Smooth Kitty, Pocked Louise, and Dower Eleanor have their work cut out for them. Find out who murdered their headmistress and her brother, bury their bodies without anyone noticing, and run their boarding school without any run realizing that the girls are now in charge. The Madman of Piney Woods by Christopher Paul Curtis. Benji and Red know that there's a strange presence in the woods, watching them, tracking them. Could the Madman of Piney Woods be real? The Badger Knight by Katherine Erskine. Who would want to be a scribe when there is a war going on? Adrian longs for the chance to prove himself as an archer despite his albino white skin, weak eyes, and asthma. Under the Egg by Laura Marks Fitzgerald. Theo discovers what may be a valuable painting hidden in her dilapidated home. That's great! If it is a valuable painting, there's a chance her security guard grandfather stole it while working for the Metropolitan Museum of Art. That's bad. What's a cash-strapped young girl to do? There Will Be Bears by Ryan Gephardt. Tyson can't bear to see his grandpa sent off to a nursing home, so he sneaks off with Grandpa Jean for his first elk hunt, despite reports of a man-eating grizzly stalking the woods. Is Jean healthy enough for the hunt? Is Tyson tough enough? What about the bear? Absolutely Almost by Lisa Graff. Albie has always been an almost. Almost good at tetherball. Almost smart enough to pass his spelling test. Almost makes his parents proud. No matter how hard he tries, Albie can't seem to get past almost. And where in the world would an almost ever be enough? Gabriel Finley and the Raven's Riddle by George Hagen. Finleys can bond with ravens in extraordinary ways, sharing thoughts, speaking to one another, even merging into one being and flying. Gabriel will need all these skills as he sets off from the heights of New York City to the depths of Aviopolis to rescue his father from the half-man, half-raven Korax. Hope is a Ferris Wheel by Robin Herrera. Starting over in a new school is tough, especially when you have a blue mullet and live in a pink-tinted trailer with a flamingo hot glued to the roof. Can Star find her place in a new school when her classmates want nothing to do with her? The Fourteenth Goldfish by Jennifer L. Holm One day a strange boy shows up. He's bossy. He's cranky. And weirdly, he looks a lot like Ellie's grandfather, a scientist who's always been slightly obsessed with immortality. Has Grandpa Melvin found the secret to eternal youth? How is a girl supposed to deal with a grandfather who looks like a teenager? The Mark of the Dragonfly by J. Lee Johnson If Piper can smuggle a young girl back into the Dragonfly territories, she will be entitled to a generous reward. Life for Piper just turned dangerous, a little bit magical, and very exciting, if she can manage to survive the journey. Ice Dogs by Terry Lynn Johnson. Victoria is an expert in surviving the unforgiving Alaskan bush. When an injured city boy and a freak snowstorm both catch Victoria and her dog team by surprise, Victoria will need all her skills to bring them through a life or death trek through the frozen wilderness. The Art of Secrets by James Cleese. After Saba Khan's apartment burns down in an apparent hate crime, the school rallies behind her family. 
A piece of art donated to a fundraising event is found to be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Greed and jealousy go head to head with kindness and good intentions, and everybody has secrets. The Actual and Truthful Adventures of Becky Thatcher by Jessica Lawson. It's 1860 and Becky Thatcher is determined to have her own adventures, just like she promised her brother John before he died. Becky recruits her best friend Amy Lawrence to join her in a night of mischief, which leads to an unfair accusation of grave robbery. And that's when the real adventure begins. The Misadventures of the Family Fletcher by Dana Allison Levy. Follow the Fletchers, four boys and two dads, as they navigate a school year full of firsts, lasts, and everything in between. From the trials and tribulations of the middle school social scene to the fantastic world of kindergarten imaginations, these four brothers have a lot to learn. Running Out of Night by Sharon Lovejoy If I stayed here, I'd go on barely living and being as nameless as the kitten's paw drowned over to the crick. So girl takes off with Zenobia, a runaway slave, on a harrowing journey north, both hoping for freedom. Rain Rain by Anne M. Martin Conversation Starter my official diagnosis is high-functioning autism, which some people call Asperger's syndrome. Do you have a diagnosis? When her dog Rain runs off in the middle of a hurricane, Rose is determined to find her, even if it means leaving her routines and safe places behind. Green Glass House by Kate Milford When mysterious guests start arriving at Green Glass House, Milo and Medi embark on an adventure to unravel the secrets of the old house. The Turtle of Oman by Naomi Shihab Nye When you drove out in the country, you felt closer to the earth than you felt in the city. You had better thoughts in the country. Your thoughts made falcon moves, dipping and rippling, swooping back into your brain to land. Arif doesn't want to move from his home in Oman to Michigan, so he and his grandfather set out on a series of adventures to collect mementos of his home. The Boundless by Kenneth Opal Climb aboard the Boundless, the most magnificent train ever built. Magic and danger loom around every bend, and the hardest trick is staying alive. Nuts to You by Lynn Ray Perkins Danger, said the squirrel. Ha! I laugh at danger. No Summit Out of Sight by Jordan Romero Avalanches, frostbite, hypothermia. In 2010, at the age of 13, Jordan Romero became the youngest climber to reach the summit of Mount Everest. This is the true story of Jordan Romero's quest to make his dream come true through sheer force of will and determination against all odds. The Port Chicago 50 by Steve Schenken On July 17, 1944, a massive explosion rocked the Navy base Port Chicago, killing 320 servicemen and injuring hundreds more. Surviving black sailors were taken to a nearby base in order to return to the same dangerous work. Two hundred men refused. When threatened with the firing squad, all but fifty went back to work. This is the story of those fifty men. Seven Stories Up by Laurel Snyder The thought flitting around in my head was so impossible I couldn't believe I was having it. 1937? 1937? Had fifty years just melted away? It wasn't possible. And yet? The Meaning of Maggie by Megan Jean Sovereign Something mysterious is going on with Maggie's cool dude dad, and Maggie is going to find out exactly what the problem is and fix it. After all, nothing's impossible when you are the future president of the United States of America, fifth grade science fair champion, and a shareholder in Coca-Cola. Right? One Safe Place by Tanya Unsworth an act of kindness earns Devon an invitation to the Gabriel H. Penn Home for Childhood, but it's soon clear that all is not what it seems. As Devon investigates the zombie-like sickness that afflicts some children, he discovers the home's horrific true mission. The only real hope is escape. Unfriended by Rachel Vale When Truly is asked to join the popular table, she's beyond psyched. But when friendships fracture and trust is betrayed, the drama is exciting and veering out of control. <laughs>